All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Cal, and I'm going to be casting a pro 1v1 between Demaga and Slayer's MMA. It's going to be game two on Shakur's Plateau, and last game was ridiculous. That Baneling hit, my goodness, I just, MMA just did not have the right position. Demaga just got a complete surround, got a great, great concave, and all of that good stuff. Both the players are wishing each other good luck, and... Uh, interesting choice. It's going to be Shakura's Plateau, and it's going to be another map like Taldarim Altar. This is one of those big macro-style maps with, in, like, so many expansions. Uh, wow, uh, MMA is going to wall off at the top here. I'm surprised that Terrans don't wall off here, because they could pull it off like Protoss players with Forge Fast Expands. But what? But uh, whatever floats his boat, that's all good stuff. Demog is going to send an Overlord to scout to the right. And Demog is going to go for probably another 15 hatch. That's standard for TVZ, which is pretty sickening. <laughs> that wasn't funny at all. Anyway, there actually is a barracks going down on the low ground. So I wouldn't be surprised if MMA is going to probably do some kind of double racks pressure. Or he's just going to wall off at the ramp here. And so nothing really going. There's the scouting drone from Demaga. Interesting enough, he's going to scout up here rather than, like, usually when I'm scouting, if I'm spawning, like, right where Demaga is, I would send my my probe here, and then I would send it here, because it seems like this is closer, but, uh, hell, maybe this is, maybe this is faster. I guess there really is no difference, honestly. But, uh, the barracks is going to finish. I wonder, yeah, Demaga's probably going to... Wow, he did not see that. That is insane. Demaga did not see the barracks, so Demaga's going to scout around. He's probably going to expect a command center first, uh, unless he scouts around here. Let's see what he does. Uh, oh, there it is. He sees it. So, never mind. Uh, not going to trick Demaga. Demaga's too good for that. And there is that 15 hatch. I forgot to get to that. Spawning pool is going down along with gas, and I wonder if Demog is going to do the same thing he did last time, which was uh, get it, get gas, put three guys in, save up a hundred gas, and then just get straight metabolic boost, pull those guys off gas so he could get minerals for extra zerglings. And there actually is a command center going down on the low ground. This is actually very risky because if if Zerg just gets a ton of lings, he could just deny this completely. And there's not really much that a Terran player can do, so very risky. Actually, MMA has been doing this quite a lot lately, I've seen with his games. There's going to be a drone at the Zelnaga Tower, along with... Uh, actually, there was there was a failed um, bunker push here. I'm sorry I didn't get to that. Oh, I'm an, an idiot. Uh, it doesn't really matter because it um, usually doesn't succeed because Zerg players have just found ta many, many different ways just to stop it. And all that good stuff. There's a bunker going down right here on the top of the ramp. And a Marine's actually going to be sent out to scout. Actually, multiple rings are going to be sent out to scout. There's actually a, an SCV at the Zelnaga. Some Zerglings are going to try to take the uh, Zelnagas, but it's going to be denied by three Marines saying, Ha ha! No Zelnaga for you, Zergling. I am so sorry for your loss. I really am. I really am. Anyway, uh, saturation in the... Oh, wow. There's actually an idle drone right here. So, here, let me zoom in. I'm always afraid to do this because, uh, yeah, there's an idle drone here. And that doesn't seem like much. But when you're at this high level, every single thing counts. Uh, so every time you get supply blocked, every time you get... Every time you get an expansion, every time you lose an expansion, everything counts. And it's every ounce of... It's just everything counts. So there's really no way to further emphasize that because that is wow mma is going for a third ex third command center he's probably going to morph this into an orbital command terran players have been doing this in tvz he's going to morph this into an orbital command and use it as like kind of like a macro hatchery if you will but it's going to be a macro command center it's just going to get a ton more sfes a lot faster then he's going to move it probably over here if or if he wants he can move over here but it would be preferred over here because then mma could get a um a position around here. There's actually a third base going down for Demaga. Oh, sorry for that spamming. And uh, yeah, so Demaga, he's ahead of his opponent, so that's good. He's, he's one base ahead of his opponent, which is always good to see. 
and there is a macro hatchery again see the same thing damaga does yeah he did get the metabolic boost so he is going to do that a lot of zergling pressure and he's actually going to move out to kill these two hellions uh that i missed again sorry about that so damaga's catching on he knows what mma's really basic build is and Demaga is just going to go for this macro hatchery after the second base, or after he gets a third base. It, it really depends on what he feels like. There are four Hellions on the map, and they're actually going to try to clear these Zelnagas, but I think the Zerglings might be able to get us around. No, MMA is going to move in. He's going to take the Zelnagas. Just constant pressure, trying to not have the Zerg get too much control, which is actually really nice on MMA's part. MMA is actually going to get another wall. He's done this on maps like Taldori Malter and, and Shakur's Plateau, which is always good. He's getting double gas. He's probably going to get Siege upgrade pretty soon. He's getting a Banshee, actually, right now with Cloaks. He's going to apply some pressure with a Banshee along with an Armory, so he might get early Thors, or he's just going to get upgrades for air and vehicles. And there's going to be a Banley upgrade, and two Evolution Chambers are on the way so that, uh, that Demaga can get... Uh, you know, catch up with the upgrades. Even though, uh, oh wow, vehicle upgrades are actually on the way for for MMA because of that armory and stuff. A Zergling's gonna try, but constantly denied. A Zergling, every Zergling is constantly denied the Zelnaga towers, and that's just really nice on MMA. It's just it's gonna cut off a lot of map control. It's gonna keep it's gonna keep Demaga pinned. And this Hellion does scout the third base, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Banshee would probably. Either is going to move right... It's probably going to move in the main, most definitely. But there are Banelings being morphed in to stop these Hellions. I mean, what else can you do as a Zerg player besides get a ton of Zerglings or Roaches or... You know, it's just... It's tough early game, I would imagine. That's why Terrans go Hellions, which is very obvious. Oh my goodness! This Overlord does scout these two Banshees, so... Demaga has an Evolution Chamber. Yeah, he's just going to go for a Spore immediately. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, he's getting Overseer right now. Oh man, that, that plan was just so thwarted. That, oh man, he's just, okay, so MMA is going to have to do a, t a lot of damage, he's going to have to do as much damage as he can, and Overseer is moving in, three queens, jeez, that's a lot of queens, and there's a changeling being pooped out in the main, right on, that's pretty cool, not going to lie, no, I, I don't know why he did that, it was probably a misclick or whatever, but anyway, Banshees aren't going to do too much, I would just decloak these, honestly. But uh, he's going to actually go for... I would honestly snipe the Banelings. Yeah, nice job. Nice job, MMA. Sniping those Banelings. Very precious to the Zerg. Every time you lose a Baneling, that's just way too much. And he's actually going to kill all these drones here. That's very annoying for Demaga. So, really nice control on MMA. And I'm actually and I'm actually surprised. Yeah, so Demaga is going to move out. He's kind of screwed at this point. He has detection, but he's not going to be able to stop it with anything. And this is just buying MMA so much time. He has Thors and it looks like he's going to for that mech play. Yeah, he's actually going mech with uh, is he getting siege tanks? No, he's just going to go Thor Hellion uh Marine Viking. Well, that one Viking's just for killing stray overlords, but there actually are three Mutalists on the map, so that's going to stop that Banshee pressure because Overseers are at pretty much every base. And I wouldn't be surprised if Demaga were to grab a fourth by now. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Whatever. We'll see. We'll see what happens. There's a Zergling right here. Just going to scout everything out. There's only three Mutalists, so this isn't going to do too much, um, especially since there's Thors here that could just kill it in like one shot and there it goes oh my goodness that one shot from the thor killed that mutalus's life in half like cut it literally in half but that just that just shows you how mighty the thor is and there is uh, actually level two carapace and melee for the zerg and a ton of zerglings just morphed in which is really interesting two thors on the way as long as six as well as six banelings and you know, I feel like, yeah, Demaga's really pinned. He can't do too much pressure. And, um, one Zergling was sent to scout out here. Oh, these Mutas could have sniped that SEV. Oh, man. He really, uh, Demaga really missed out a great window of opportunity there. But there actually is an engagement right here in the middle. Banelings are going to try to get off some hits, but Banelings don't too, do too much against, uh, Thors. And, oh, my goodness, just complete yeah that's pretty much game guys oh my goodness thor hellion against uh banelings zergling i mean look how much like the thor is just 
freaking tank like a boss. It's ridiculous. SCVs are there to repair. And then there's a Comsat gonna kill this third. Yeah, I think it. Uh, I think that's pretty much game at this point, guys. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, yeah. So there's the advertisement. They usually do that in this series for some strange reason. Aliens are gonna kill Zerglings and stuff. And, yeah, there's really nothing that Demaga can do. I would just move on to the next game. There is the good game. I really hope you enjoyed uh, Really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Um, I promise I will try to get better, and I will post at least one video a day and all that good stuff. So, well, not at least one video a day. Probably, like, three a week for the weekends. But since it's midwinter break, I'm probably going to be doing at least one a day. So that's pretty sickening. So I will see you guys next time.